beautiful cancer babies welcome to my channel the intuitive teacup that is me if you are watching this video you associate with cancer in some capacity sun moon rising venus jupiter whatever that is for you welcome everyone is welcome here uh, we are here to do your monthly um, career and finances tarot spread as always in these monthly youtube readings they are general which means not everything i say will resonate with all the cancers out there. So it is up to you guys to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind. Please do only take away the messages that resonate for you in some capacity, um, that inform you about something you needed to hear, um, motivate you, inspire you, confirm something. That is my goal here, sending out love and light and positivity. <clears throat> if something doesn't resonate or fit your um, circumstance or scenario, wow, they're popping cancer. Uh, you can release those messages that don't seem to serve you in any way. Uh, it's probably someone else's energy. That being said, highly recommend for you um, to keep an open mind in terms of the timeline. Sometimes uh, messages will resonate for you in a few hours, in a few days, in a few weeks. And if that's the case, take it and run with it. That means it was your message. Everything else is written for you beautiful Cancerians in the description box below. That includes the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media. I am the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, N.com, check out my website if you are interested to learn more about me and my tarot journey. Um, what else? <clears throat> as always, like, share, subscribe wherever you can, including on this video. It's a good exchange of energy, and also it helps me. It helps these videos get out um, to the YouTube world, to those who want to see them and want to hear them. Enough rambling, we're going to hop in for career and finances for my, for my cancer squad. This is going to be roughly mid-February into mid-March. Career and finances for the cancer squad. <clears throat> okay, let's do it, cancer. So bottom of your deck, you have the devil, card of Capricorn. Wow, actually, at Aquarius. You have a lot, of, a lot of heavy hitters. So this could be a timestamp, something that you may have put a resume out um, for during Capricorn into Aquarius season. Maybe as, as we get into Pisces season, which is going to be early March soon. Um, end of February, early March, actually exactly when this reading is, is meant for. You may start hearing back from something that you really want, something that you really desire, something, a job opportunity that, that would mean a lot to you, that would make you happy. Um, it could certainly be a romantic partner for those seeking romantic partnership with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. <clears throat> and then, last but not least, in a career spread, whenever we see the, the cups, that, that indicates to me the idea of money flow. Money is a currency. So you have the king of money flow here. So stepping into your power, I feel like money is going to be good. Resources are going to be good. You're not going to be really like pinching pennies, especially if that is your story now. Yeah, you may have gone through a time where it's like you had to work your ass off and almost obsessively commit to something, but it seems like, I, I just heard like what comes around goes around. I don't really know why, why that phrase came to mind, but it's almost like you've done the work so you're going to be able to rest and heal comfortably and like money will be good. Yeah, there, there will be an influx of money. And it almost comes at a time when you're ready to, to throw in the towel, when you're ready to quit, because something has been like a bitch. Something has been very laborious or very arduous, feeling like you know, you're in shackles to a slave driver, depending on who or what you work for. It does seem like there was a period of, <clears throat> well, you really had to commit to something, and it may have even been having to work in a partnership that you didn't love, especially if it was like a temporary gig or project, but it was like, you, you rose above it, you chose to like vibe higher and kind of like fight that devil energy to get to like restitution, restitution, I don't even know why that word came up, peace, prosperity, and, and it does seem to be in the form of money. And if it's not money, though, for a lot of you, I think it is, it's happiness. Um, yeah, there, there's something about making a call to up and leave, to up and quit, and kind of do it in a way that is not tactful. This is sometimes what we call the liar, cheater, thief card. It, if it's not that, and I really don't think it is for most of you, it has to do with leaving something behind but having some sort of, sort of uncertainty or mentally you haven't really um, made, made peace with the idea of leaving everything behind. There, there's very much indecision when the Seven of Swords come up. There's, there's questioning of our own thoughts and our own ideas. And yes, something about with judgment coming up, the idea of, again, raising your vibration, waking the dead, something you thought was dead and buried, something you thought you had moved on from, that, that offer actually comes in. So especially those waiting to hear from a job offer, yeah, I, I think you are going to be hearing from that. that that's sort of what, what this is sort of leaning towards for me. Some of you may also be uh, hearing from a person of the past, particularly a Taurus or a Libra in terms of love relationships. 
<clears throat> some of you are also getting in touch with your mother. That, that random message there. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, let's hop into your actual reading. Those are just kind of some surface messages that needed to come through. Um, but yeah, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, if any of those signs mean anything to you, they're, those people, those characters in your lives are going to come front and center in the next month or so, right? Play some sort of role in your career, in your work life. Maybe some of those people um, have some sort of impact or influence on your money flow, depending on you know the team you work with, your boss, your whatever, your this, your that, your spouse, right? <clears throat> all right, so interesting. And you're, um, <clears throat> I was fine all day, and now that I'm recording videos, my throat is going. Cancer, I'm the worst. All right, here we go. In your energy, we have moderation, which is temperance in this deck. I absolutely love this depiction of temperance. I think it's just adorable. <laughs> it's like, show them a little, but not too much. She's like, you know, the, the stripper or the, the, no, there's a better word for it. But anyway, it's great. It's temperance. It's a card of Sagittarius. The door to spirit. All right, so faith and spirituality are going to play a key role in your life in terms of having optimism, um, looking forward to the future optimistically and not, again, something about thinking, um, thinking that something was a closed door, thinking that something was um, an obstacle you could never break through, never bust through, never, ne like it, it just seems like a, a, a closed door, a victory that could never be yours. It's false. It, it, something comes back through again that you weren't anticipating. It's judgment. So it's like before you move on to this new cycle, there's a call back to the past or a need to make peace with the past. Sometimes it's a card of reconciliations. For you, though, it has to do with an opportunity that you thought wasn't obtainable, wasn't tangible, wasn't something that was going to come in for you. And I have to be real. I'm reading for, for business and finance and career, but a lot of this is speaking to me about a love relationship with the King of Cups. I don't even know if I can show this on YouTube, but let's be honest, that card is so friggin' cool. I just love the colors of it, but damn, those who are interested in a male Scorpio, God. God damn, that's looking real good. That's looking real good. Anyway, moving on, moving on. <clears throat> you are being reminded to have fun. Have fun and have faith. That's actually a really cute message. <clears throat> yeah, th with the Page of Stor Swords, there's still something trying to come into you or something that is coming in that you don't recognize or you don't understand that it was meant to be yours. It was going to come in all along, but it's almost like this devil energy, this lower vibrational shadow energy. Something was keeping you in the dark. You weren't able to see something because you, essentially you were stuck in, in the tower. What falls between the devil and, and the star card is the tower. The idea of being stuck, addictions, codependency, bondage, whatever, an unhealthy or toxic relationship with your, with your boss, with your coworkers, with your job, right? It's almost like if you don't break yourself out of this un unhealthy cycle or habit of thinking, that's when the universe is like, send them the tower, because the tower is like the shitstorm that comes into your life that changes everything up. But what we don't always realize during that anarchy and chaos of, oh my, oh my God, what is happening in my life? It was meant to bring you healing. It was meant to save you from something unhealthy or toxic. And then with that comes a state of healing. Um, yeah, the star is all about regaining your balance, as is temperance. But it's self-healing. There's a need to be very vulnerable. She's naked, right? A need to be very vulnerable and real with yourself. And realign your... Um, Realign your heart and your body, but really it's like a zoom out is sort of what I always say with this zoom out. What is the larger picture here? What are we actually trying to do when you're in the tower, you know, underneath underneath the prison or the imprisonment of the devil? You don't see things clearly. It's in the dark. Now that you're out in the light of day, it's like that that North Star is guiding you towards hope. So, yeah, for those who are feeling hopeless or or stuck in some capacity, and I will say in both romance and career, good things are trying to come into you and they're probably not brand new. It would be a job that you've already started applying to or a position you've been trying to work your way into or a title, something like that. Same with a romantic partnership. I'm not one to advocate returning to the past, go to, you know, back to the past, which is such a Cancerian trait anyway. We are very sentimental, right? We, we hold things and people from our past in, in our hearts in a very dear way. But this is indicating something you, writ you wrote off in the past, something that's like, it, it, or, or feeling like it, it flew right by you, like you don't have a chance at it anymore. I just keep getting it. Something good is coming in. And with the Empress card, there's a very good likelihood it has to do with a romantic partner that is either, um, again, Taurus or Libra. Or if it stands for the Empress being the career, you stepping into your power in terms of... Um, 
your, your ideal job, your ideal career, or just money flow being better. <clears throat> Particularly those who are waiting on, and I, I hate to say waiting, but I'm just going to call a spade a spade. That's what it is. If you've been waiting on a, a Libra or a Taurus, I'm sorry, guys, my camera froze. I have the worst technology. I'm sorry. Anyway, for those waiting on either a Taurus or a Libra who left you, who left a relationship, even career-wise, though it's, it feels romantic, they may come around again to realize, like make the judgment call, you actually are the lover, you are the person they want to grow and build with. It could also be some sort of business partnership. If, if you had like a co-collaborator and you guys to, decided to sever ways or go separate ways, that person may come back around again and be like, hey, Cancer, want to wanna try that project one more time? Want to wanna write that book? Want to make that movie? Want to build that empire? And I don't know how you feel about that. You, you might, but... Um, Something about this does feel very independent. You are meant to break off from the pack or from the group. You are, you are meant to go after this yourself. And, and it something about um, empowering you to stand up for yourself, to fight your own battles, to become a warrior, but also the student of knowledge, the student, the master of your skill. You, you're stepping into your power. You're stepping into the light. All the potential exists within you. It has nothing to do with who you're with. It's you recognizing that like, you're a badass musician. Or I almost said musician. So some of you are absolutely musicians. Um, you're a badass, badass magician is what I was trying to say. And yeah, it's like you, <clears throat> you realize that you are the master of your fate, of your destiny with, with this card of the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune. We like that. That usually indicates money will be good but also forward progress, the wheels in motions, taking new places, travel, new exciting experiences. Some of you have caught the eye of a Gemini or a Sagittarius that, that wants to collaborate with you. <clears throat> and, and commit to you long-term as well. Again, be it business partnership or um, romantic partnership. So what is your challenge or focus, my beautiful Cancers? In, yeah, being independent, not relying on anybody but yourself. Going off into some unknown territory um, that maybe you feel a little bit out of um, out of your element, uh, a fish out of water, a crab out of water, maybe right. Uh, but there there is partnership up ahead for you. But for now, you're being asked to do something independently on your own. Yeah, I feel like you guys get this card a lot. The Queen of Pentacles. Uh, it is kind of like that mother earthly energy, but she's worked very hard. She knows her value. She knows her worth. Very much similar to Empress energy. It is earth with Taurus here and then Capricorn here. You do have two cards of Capricorn. So I don't know if maybe you have strong Capricorn in your chart. That's very possible. But this whole spread, your challenge or focus feels very much independent. And it's something about when you step into your independence and radiate that beauty, that confidence, that, that love of life, that internal spark, that light. Some of you are light workers. <clears throat> it, it draws the eye of other people who want to collaborate with you, who want to work with you, who want to fund your business, who, who want to, uh, you know, want your products, your services. <clears throat> But there's something about being independent that, that makes you very shaky. Uh, the card number 18, which makes me think of the moon, anxiety, fears of the unknown. And then you have the moon card. So a card of Pisces, th these are very much in, in connection with each other. And again, there's singing and dancing here. Are some of you on stage? Are you guys singers? Are you, are you musicians? It is something about you. All eyes are on you. Whatever you're doing, it's, it's independent. There, there's no joint ownership here. So maybe you're not there yet. Maybe some of you are trying to open your own business, but there's, there's clearly something that, that makes you anxious or fearful there. But you don't need to be. Um, there's an importance here of knowing that progress, although it is slow, it's earth energy, start planting those seeds now so later down the line they can come into fruition and grow into, you know, the beautiful oak tree, essentially. Let's clarify this moon card. And I love that this moon card actually has the crab on it. So that, that's definitely co confirming this more has to do with cancer than it does Pisces. You are ruled by the moon. You are the moon children of the zodiac. Some of you do want to travel. You want to move to another country to do performances, whatever that means to you. What is this moon card about for cancer? Why is it showing up as their challenge or focus? It also has to do with following your dreams. <clears throat> your judgment is being clouded by things that have happened in the past. Uh, somebody once told you that you weren't good enough or you weren't smart enough or you weren't talented enough. There's a need to like sever that, um, 
<clears throat> it's not so much that person because I don't think that person is around you anymore. It's, it's leaving behind the final wounds or mental baggage that you've been carrying around from something from the past, particularly if it does have to do with a Pisces. Putting that to bed once and for all and recognizing like, you control the way you feel about yourself. You, like your self-worth, that completely rests with you. <clears throat> so you need to stop caring so much what other people think of you. Like let your freak flag fly. The idea of like the man who turns into the werewolf at night, there, there's embarrassment there. He's afraid to, it's like that natural animalistic instinct that comes out of you. You're shy about it. You're not wanting to, to like sing it to the world, right? As he's doing here to howl at the moon. But this is saying by being your authentic self, by, um, and it's such a funny metaphor, but by embracing yourself, you know, as they warts and all, werewolf and all, right? That natural uh, animalistic, uh, like organic, authentic self, when you let that shine, when you let that radiate confidence with pride, being, being very proud of who you are and what you are and, and all the battles that, that you've essentially like won, you're, you're the victor of them. You have some emotional scars. You have some, some physical pain that you're still holding on to, but it is time to release that because it's something about by being your authentic self, that's what draws the eyes of other people, be it business clients or, or romantic suitors. They're not buying, buying the product, they're buying you. So there's a need to sell yourself authentically, practically, but also don't be afraid to celebrate yourself. Again, let your freak flag fly. It's something about your people are going to love that flag. You know, it's almost like you guys will bond over mutual interests or mutual like absurdities, unique interests, very like, uh, like oddly specific or innovative or occult ideas. It's something very different, very unique. Don't be afraid to incorporate that into your business because that's what's going to set you apart from others and it's going to draw people in. And flat out, it's going to be like, I'm just getting people wanting to, to throw money in your hat. Something about a street performer, but also their cop. There's a mutual emotional exchange between you and also energy of, of money too, the inflow, the influx of money. Be yourself. Let your freak flag fly. <clears throat> Something to do with vampires? Are you guys writing a script or a book? or I don't know what vampires has to do with this. Hold on. Now I have to clarify that. I can't just leave you hanging. Why is that coming through? Vampires and werewolves. Something about Halloween? I don't, or like monsters, <laughs> the, the classic universal monsters, werewolf and Dracula. And I don't, I don't know. And the mummy even actually. Yeah, the mom. The ship. I, guys, I don't know what that is. I hope that means something to someone. The classic monsters, Dracula, Wolfman, the mummy. I'm waiting to see Frankenstein. Traveling to tell stories, folklore, fairy tales. Are some of you writing children's books? Are you, yeah, I, something about the dreams and the imagination. I, it's, yeah, cr creativity, uh, storytelling, yeah, filmmaking. I, I don't really know what that is, but maybe that means something to someone out there. Moving on. What is the help available to my cancers? <clears throat> Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, uh, the Action Card, which is very Cancerian. It reminds me of the, the Chariot. A lot of people have gotten this. <clears throat> and the Five of Wands. <clears throat> the help available to you is releasing the thoughts that don't serve you and leaving them behind once and for all. Um, holding on to like... Um, <clears throat> What is the right word? Holding on to grudges of the past of people who did you dirty, people who treated you wrong, people who broke your heart, didn't give you the raise or the promotion that you deserved. Letting that go once and for all and emp empowering yourself to move on confidently knowing that you are creating your future. It's almost like stop handing off the, your fate and your destiny. Stop putting it in the hands of other people. With the Wheel of Fortune coming in and the Magician, you control your fate, you control your destiny, nobody else. So I know this is going to sound a little bit harsh, but pushing blame onto other people of, oh, well, I'm not succeeding because of them, because they don't like me, because they don't value me. That's a, a poor choice on how to view the situation. Take your power back. Stop handing off your power to other people and... Um, seeking self-worth in other people's validation of you and your skills and your hobbies. The Empress doesn't give a fuck. Like, she doesn't. Like, she knows she's bomb. She, she knows she's got this. And so, yes, yeah, she doesn't need anybody's approval or permission to do anything. She goes out and does it unapologetically. She howls at the moon and wakes up all the damn animals. She doesn't care because she's doing what she loves and she's doing it well. 
She's a skilled badass. I love that the Empress is coming up, but it is your challenge coming into your power. And also, like, she's got a little sickle, right? She will cut and sever people who stand in her way. And it's not out of cruelty. It's out of people who don't recognize and respect her as the Empress, right? I will cut you out. If, like, if that's the vibe you're coming at with, like, you want to chain me up, you want to shackle me, you want to keep me at this, this shitty job where you don't pay me and I'm not valued or respected, like, Girl, bye. Like, that's the Empress's vibe. It's very much empowered. Step into your power, Cancer. Be confident. And with that newfound power, <clears throat> there will be enjoyment in the work that you have to do ahead. That it, like, sailing, moving on, it's taking you places. You have the ship and this card. Different decks, mind you, but are you traveling across seas, across country, across bodies of water? It could, it could just mean, uh, like, you know, local travel, different city, a different town. But for a lot of you, it, it seems like almost world travel. I have to be honest. And so if it's not, uh, sorry, if it's not literal world travel, it could be sending your ideas across the world, like online, selling products in multiple countries, again, across bodies of water. It, it's safe. Something about that being your natural element cancer, going across bodies of water. In metaphor, if you were to fall, the water will catch you, the emotions, the love, the support. Your, your team of people, your family, your friends, your, your spirit guides, your angels, they'll catch you when you fall, so there's no need to be fearful. The only, yeah, this is exactly what I was saying. The only thing holding you back is you. And that's a tough message to hear, right, Cancer? I already feel people cringing and wanting to like come at me in the comments. But legit, the only person holding you back is you, the chariot. The horses must drive the chariot forward in unison. Your dark and your light energies, which to be clear, everybody has. This devil, it does represent you in some capacity too. Lower vibrational energy. Um, egotistical ways of thinking. Again, putting, putting other people in the power position in terms of your fate and your destiny. That's, that's a poor... A poor lens in which to view your own, your own fate, your own dreams, your own desires and wishes for the future. This is saying if you can balance your dark and your light, that chariot, that progress you want to make, it's going to go a lot faster. Do you see how the dark horse, the black energy is what's slowing the process down? Like the light, the joy, the happiness, it's wanting to spring ahead right away. But the, like the lethargic laziness, maybe this is just laziness cancer, right? For some of you, right? We're homebodies of the zodiac, right? What's like delaying the progress is the darker energy and that does have to do with false beliefs, false ways of thinking or or lacking confidence, not believing you're good enough to to run with the horses, to run with the other, to run with like those around you, your competition maybe. Yeah, it could have to do with taking a look at those around you who are already succeeding and immediately feeling intimidated by them. You can run with the best of them, Cancer. Keep, keep it going. Don't let the dark energy like swallow you whole. <clears throat> And also, because it's coming up as your helper guidance, recognizing not every day is going to be sunny and glorious and optimistic and positive. You're a human being. You're going to have some days where you do feel defeated, where you do feel like it's much more challenging than you anticipated, or you do feel stuck. Knowing that is half the battle, and it'll make this kind of like healing process where I think you're gathering your energy to like motivate yourself and kind of get back on the horse, pun intended. Again, step back into your confidence to really chase those goals and those dreams. Recognizing that you are, you are human, that, that dark energy exists inside of you. But again, it is up to you. You have the power, you have the magic to control what thoughts you believe to be true and to cut out what don't, what doesn't serve you essentially. To leave the bullshit behind. You don't need any more of that in your life. <clears throat> yeah, I, I am getting, there's a lot of internal conflict. It's wishy-washy. It's half in, half out. Some days you really want to go after this in full force. You want to make it happen because you love it. It's what you want to do. But other days there's an overwhelming sense of like um, doom and gloom or again, lacking confidence or because you can't see it all aligning for you. It's almost like because you can't see it, you don't believe it. This card does have to do with having faith in the unknown. Faith that if you were to keep going down that trail, eventually things are going to start falling into place. Again, with, with the howling at the moon, you have the moon card twice. Singers, artists, dancers, poets, musicians, if anybody who's looking into a career and writing, uh, anybody who's looking into a career field like that, I would, I would definitely keep... <laughs> Keep going down that road. Keep, keep going, to, going in that sailboat, wherever you're trying to get to. Card three, that makes me think of the Empress again. So again, Taurus and Libra are very big in the spread. 
<clears throat> what is this five of wands about? I do think it has to do with competition. You guys are worried you're not going to measure up uh, or that you're not like the, the promotion will go to the guy next to you, not you or yeah, worrying about your competitors. And Scorpio had a similar reading, actually, if, if Scorpio is in your chart at all. It has to do with recognizing that the people who are trying to succeed in a similar career field or a similar industry, if you were to stop looking at them as your competition, but actually people who um, it's almost like they inspire you and motivate you to work even harder to kick ass. It's healthy competition. It's friendly competition. And it's also like actually a really beautiful metaphor for like, again, those energies that are existing inside of you, the dark and the light. It's healthy competition. It's the yin to your yang. The yin to your yang. There is balance in having both dark and light energies. It, it's never going to be all of one. So you may as well embrace the fact that, again, some days are going to be shitty. Some days it's going to be tough. Some days money isn't going to be as good. But if you understand that in, in advance, if you have the knowledge and the foresight and the thought to understand, okay, th this day's a little bit off. It's going to make this challenge and this obstacle much easier to just like not worry about it. Just, just sail away, right? <laughs> I keep hearing that stick song, Come Sail Away. A gathering of angels appeared above my head. They sang to me this song of hope, and this is what they said. They said, come sail away. You have a lot of cards that are kind of, I don't know what that is. Again, musicians, the band Sticks, rock and roll, or some of you in a music group. When, when actually, when judgment comes up too, like playing the horn or the trumpet, some of you are like jazz musicians, or maybe you have someone in your family or your friends group who is, maybe go hang out with them. This was saying earlier, don't forget to have some fun in all this. This does seem very heavy. Um, some of you definitely do are, are suffering from some anxiety and depression, and I'm not just saying get over it. I understand it's not as easy as that. What I am saying, though, is seek healthy avenues to start uh, looking into, discovering why it is you're feeling this way. What is overwhelming you? What burdens and, and weight that is on your shoulders do you need to focus on getting rid of? Do you need to find healthy coping mechanisms? Or again, a, an ability to finally let go and release and welcome in healing, making space for for who and what you love. <laughs> getting rid of old shit so you can accept new blessings in your life. That's what aces are. <clears throat> And, okay, you have the Ace of Swords twice. <laughs> so I, I clarified what is this. And I do think it is healthy competition or being kind of intimidated or nervous by the competitors. This is kind of saying to me, get on in the thick of it, Cancer. It's going to be fun. Like, mingle with the people. They're not your competition. They're people who are actually going to help inform you of how to do it correctly. People who are experienced in this career field, go in and network. Talk to them. And that's a little bit intimidating, right? Maybe some of you don't want to do that. Maybe you don't like trying to sell yourself or networking or fearing that people are constantly, you know, wanting to get something out of you. I don't think you present that way, Cancer. You actually present as very confident. It may actually be the opposite. That If you're coming in with Empress and Nine of Pentacles, independent lady vibes, it's likely the opposite. It's almost like people are intimidated by you. So you sort of standing at the corner being a wallflower People actually are seeing you as being very kind of like aloof or even a little bit like, I'm too good for those people. When in reality, I think it's the opposite. It's like you so badly want to join them and, and like join in the fun or at least try and understand like, oh, how do you do this? Can you tell me more about it? We have a mutual interest, a common interest. Don't be afraid to get on in there and get your hands dirty. W with the moon, the idea of deceit or lunacy, and I only say that because it does have to do with a skewed perspective not viewing things from a higher vibration. Again, it's that devil energy of, I'm not good enough, they're not gonna like me, I'm not brave enough, I'm not, you know, I'm not as good at this skill as they are. Like, false, false thoughts. The universe is testing you, it's forcing you to step up and fight, to be a warrior, right? You are magical, you control your fate, you control your destiny. With this, it's a card of good luck, it's, it's, Sagitt or it's Jupiter energy, but it's Sagittarius as well. Take a risk, have some fun. And that's why it's coming up with temperance. Sagittarian energy, have some fun, but not too much. Because <laughs> it's moderation, because it's temperance. I, I kind of said that jokingly. A little bit more, a little bit more. Too much, too much. <laughs> That's you, Cancer. It's like, ah, you're feeling it out, right? If, if it doesn't feel good and emotion, like emotionally, then you're going to dip. But yeah, there, there's a need to get on in there and just do it, to face your fears a little bit, to, to toughen up. Yeah, because you are majorly intimidating. You are very eloquent. The way you speak, it's almost like you don't say much. And again, to you, it's, it might be because you're nervous. People view that as you don't say much because 
it's like higher vibrational or higher higher wisdom when you speak it's important and it makes people listen but you don't feel the need to be all chatty and have to have like all the airtime all the time people view that as very um very mature very um like in, i do keep wanting to say intimidating you might be the king of cups my males and my females out there you are a powerhouse of money right of love and money <clears throat> I want to know more about this opportunity. Where is it? Yeah, this judgment, the page of pentacles and the seven of air. I'm kind of just doing this for fun because to be honest, it feels a little bit romantic. I am reading for career and finances, but for the off chance that it has to do with like a job application coming back around, I, I'm curious to know what is the major message here? Something about music, a music teacher, a music professor. <clears throat> Yeah, it's someone who left you behind. It's someone who burned you in the past and you are quite hurt about it. And you had a lot of um, resentment for this person, but you also had a lot of in inner turmoil thinking that you weren't good enough. It does seem like someone who was in a leadership position who passed on your resume or who declined your, your offer or whatever, like they, they didn't want you on the team. It might not be that exact position that comes around again, or, or I'm sorry, it might not be a position with that person who comes around again, but it would be something very similar to it that would make you just as happy, if not more happy, because it would be with someone more steady, potentially a Capricorn or an Aquarius. You have the star card coming up twice. This deck is so cool. Um, this is the two different depictions of the star card. The card of Aquarius, again, zooming out, thinking long term, or, you know, over the years. Um, and yeah, your goals, your dreams, your wishes, that North Star that, that's guiding you to, to accomplish what you want to for you. Again, vulnerability. One foot in the pool of intuition, the other on land. Being, being logical and grounded, but also having that sense of wonderment and excitement and love for what it is that you want to do and contribute to the world. This deck is so cool. Just the colors of the cards. I'm in love with this deck. I think it's so, so great. Anyway, yeah, Aquarius and Scorpio or maybe a Capricorn. Um, and again, potentially in love. You have soulmate energy. And okay, here's what's really cool about this, guys. There's intimidation to, to get your hands dirty and go in there and talk to the people and network and kind of, it feels kind of gritty. It feels intimidating. It feels exhausted, exhausting rather. Something about it is giving you pause or anxiety. Again, it's false. It, it's your mind playing tricks on you. If you were to go in there, get your hands dirty, and I do want to say mingle with the people. It involves working with a group or a team that maybe you don't love all the people there. Maybe you're intimidated. Whatever it is for you, Cancer, that's where the soulmate card rests. It's within this five of wands. It's like of these five competitors, two of you walk away and win the prize. And even if it's not like the prize in terms of money, though for some of you, maybe it's a good business deal, it, it seems like a really solid friendship is going to evolve out of this, this like cluster of people, this group, this team, the bandmates in, in your musical group, something about that. You meet your soulmate on some level. Is it romantic? Maybe, great. If it is, fantastic, that's wonderful. If not though, it's like an amazing friendship that's going to stand the test of time. It's like the universe guided you, your, your two paths to intersect, to cross, and it seems like you're no longer going to be like walking this road alone. It, almost like these, the, the cards of the moon, you guys meet along this path. And again, it's almost like there's three energies here, so it may involve saying goodbye to someone from the past, particularly if that someone is a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, it feels like you're moving towards an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aquarius. Aquarius has been playing a big role in a lot of these readings, and that might simply be a timestamp because we are in Aquarius season, heading into Pisces season. These cards may be more timestamps of aligning like, hey, like check in with your energy now, in Aquarius season now, so that when you get these messages, you know where you're going as we head into Pisces season, right? Aquarius to Pisces, <clears throat> and Capricorn for that matter. And then we have Sagittarius before that. Yeah, you guys, it's going to be a hell of a year. I think it's Cancer's year. <laughs> That's sort of what this is saying to me. All right, wrapping it up. Final advice or guidance for Cancer. Storm warning. I love it. So, yeah, especially for those traveling in a ship or, or over water, <clears throat> expect rocky waters. Ex literally ex expect difficult weather. This can also be like a tower card, too. So as I was saying, if you're stuck in a toxic or unhealthy situation, relationship, work dynamic, whatever, for too long, 
Eventually, the universe doesn't want to keep you here because it's not serving you. The universe wants us to be happy. The universe wants us to go after all our hopes and our dreams and our wishes. But because you are in this energy, potentially, if your judgment is clouded, you're in a dark room and you're not seeing, again, the larger picture at hand, universe is going to usher in that tower moment. And again, how I said it, it's like a shit storm. Storm warning, right? Pull yourself out of this toxic environment and start going after it after whatever it is that you're really dreaming of and hoping for. Maybe it just has to be removing yourself from a relationship with someone who isn't vibing high, someone who isn't cheering you on, who isn't being helpful, someone who says hurtful things to you or, or is like a time, like a, a money suck, is sucking at your finances, at your energy, at your love, at your spirit. Cutting, maybe it's a Capricorn, maybe, cutting, some, cutting something or something off once and for all ushers in that healing and that new cycle faster. And then the tables turn. Then you meet someone who is, it's fated, it's destiny, the wheel of fortune. Maybe it's a Gemini or a Virgo. I don't know. Maybe it's a Sagittarius. You have a lot of cards here. There's reciprocity in the uh, output of the work you're doing and then the input, if that makes sense, of the money that's coming into your account. How I said, it's like you guys have really had to like obsess over something and work tremendously hard. And for a lot of you, it felt like you got declined in, in what you were hoping would be the turning point or, or the payoff you were expecting at the end of the road. It's coming, but it's coming in a way that you didn't anticipate. And it's coming from someone you weren't expecting either. It might not be someone brand new. It might be a, a former coworker or a former boss. But yeah, the one that you were waiting for I think that disappointed you and, and it felt like it, it ran right past you. It slid right through and you were like, ah, but that was my job. Ah, but that was my person. This one comes to you quite easily. And it's because someone sees your value and your worth. And I, I'm going to say like they love what you do. If it's, it's part of, it does feel kind of romantic, Cancer. I got to be honest. But it's almost like this pentacle just falls into your lap. And it's not to say you haven't worked for it. It's that you've stepped into your power to recognize I deserve this. So when someone makes the job offer to you and offers you a salary that, that meets your expectations, that is fair, again, wheel of fortune, it, stepping into your power and your magic, when someone offers you that coin of, yes, Cancer, we want to bring you on board, yes, Cancer, I'd like to date you, I want to be your person, you're like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, yeah, you meet my standards, my criteria, let's do this. You guys need to raise the bar in terms of what you're accepting in your life be it people and, and relationships, but also what, what, what kind of offers people are making to you uh, career-wise. You may have settled for a job that is well beyond your, or I'm sorry, well, uh, um, sorry. Your skills are, what is the term? Overqualified. Thank you, spirit. You have temperance again and the two of water. All right, so you have temperance twice and, and the card of Jupiter. Who's in love with a Sagittarius? <laughs> <clears throat> There's reciprocity, especially in a business partnership. Some of you may end up working with a Sagittarius who's also a musician. Or same for a Capricorn. A Capricorn involved in the arts. But be careful, though, because there, there may be a chance that a... Uh, I, I, I hate to pin this on Capricorn. I'm just sorry. It's, it's coming through as that sign. There may be a Capricorn in your life that tries to come back in and you guys know like they burned you once before. They've been the burden, the Ten of Wands, twice in your life. It could be very much a hit it and quit it type Capricorn energy where they knock on your door when it's convenient, but it's kind of like you making the final judgment call. Like you're a page and, and like that's the, it's, it's unequal, it's imbalance, it's unequal pay, it's unequal maturity, it's unequal, I don't know what. This page is like, hey, hey, what's up, Cancer? Like, you, you want my seed? That sounds very sexual. And, you're, and you look at it, you consider it, but ultimately that judgment comes in of like, yeah, no, you're terrible. Thanks, but no thanks. You guys are rejecting an offer. It's very interesting. You're putting out resumes or you're trying to reach out to people for them to offer you their cup of love. It's almost like the, the role or the position or the person that feels right, it really won't be a struggle. I almost want to say it falls into your lap. It's coincidental. It's, it's you get it through a friend of a friend. You meet accidentally. And when it happens, it happens easily because you've healed yourself. You're no longer in a place of desperation or lack mentality. You're very grounded and with Aquarian energy, thinking outside the box in terms of what you want. It isn't always the straight and narrow to our destiny, right? There's a lot of rolling hills and paths. And again, with the moon, there's the mystery. There's the unknown. There's a bit of fear. 
but it's also about aligning with your dreams, something that you've held close to your heart this whole time. Cancer, you being ruled by the moon, it's like spirit, fate, destiny, you know, your angel guides, your spirit guides, they are calling you out. <laughs> like the whistle, they're blowing the whistle on you, like cut this shit out. <laughs> Whatever you've been settling for is because you didn't recognize what a valuable contributor you are, what a valuable asset you are. You're being asked to not settle for anything anymore, to not be a doormat, to only accept offers that are balanced, reciprocity, maybe something with a Libra or a Sagittarius. <clears throat> it's going to be a perfect match, Cancer. It's going to match your cup. This could absolutely represent a job offer where there's a mutual interest. You like the company, the company likes you, boom, let's do this. Where do we sign? Sign on the dotted line, particularly if it's with a Libra. All right, let's throw, let's throw some of these on, I guess. <clears throat> Anything else Cancer needs to know in this reading? The name David might be important or the name Star. I, maybe that has to do with the, a company you're joining or if it's a logo of a star. The Star of David. I don't know why that just came through, those two things together. Um, that, that's, yeah, anyway. Environmentalist, you are an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. So maybe that will resonate for some of you. My animal lovers out there, there was, there was a good amount of animal imagery too. Bohemian animal tarot is what I was using. Maybe that wasn't by coincidence. And then support, your life, uh, your life purpose fully supports you. Something about the medical industry, being healers, doctors, nurses, um, psychologists, therapists, helping people, <clears throat> even like crystal work, kind of like um, unusual forms of, of healing or, I didn't say unusual, not mainstream. Why is support coming up for cancer? Make sure you're surrounding yourself by people who love you, particularly your family or your soul tribe. It doesn't have to be literally mom and dad, but yeah. The people who, um, yeah, it's like they, they're your nest. They're your people. They're the people who wrap you in your angel wings. Make sure you're spending a lot of time with them because they empower you. They champion you. They remind you that you are like this, this badass mother effer. You know what I mean? All right, Cancer, that's what I got for you. Um, I'm interested to know who or what this is. This offer that comes in that's a good fit. It's a good match. It's balanced. There's reciprocity. It's like your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Uh, yeah, for those looking for money, it's coming in. Something about a Scorpio, or maybe, I don't know, maybe a Pisces you're going to work with, whatever. Let me know for you what it is in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. That helps me a whole lot. I will see you guys very soon for more tarot. Bye, Cancer.